Yeah, it's no, been a long uh, morning for, for a lot of folks and trying to anticipate to see when the storm is going to make landfall. That's behind us now. Now mm -hmm. we're really just waiting to see the rest of this rain coming through. And it's starting now. We're seeing the rain not too heavy yet. That'll change later today. And then as we go forward on into tonight and then into tomorrow, we'll still see some of that rain. And then as we get into later on Sunday, that's when we may start seeing there's rivers starting to rise in the north shore, some flash flooding issues potentially. It's all going to be where these bands start to set up across the area. Right now you can see not a ton of rain over the area, but it's definitely starting to increase uh, from where it has been. And we're actually starting to see if you look here uh, where the center of circulation is of Hurricane Barry wrapping around it. Finally, it's actually looks better, more like a tropical system and low now than it ever did. That's sometimes that does that when you get on shore with these systems. The rain field will start to expand a little bit. We're seeing also the wind field starting to expand, and that's where we're seeing some of those showers coming in across our area. So it is moving northwest at six. We'll get its way toward Lafayette this afternoon, heading up toward Alexandria as we get into about 5 a.m. tomorrow and up near Shreveport, heading to Little Rock and beyond, going forward here all the way into about Monday. That's 10 o'clock in the morning and continuing at that point as well, too. Now, here's kind of a history of where Barry started. Now, remember, this was a non-tropical low, actually a mid and upper level of disturbance that began all the way back here in part of Kansas, near the Wichita area, and then it worked its way through central Missouri or southern Missouri, back into Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, and then finally into the Gulf of Mexico, and now it's looping its way into Louisiana, and if you follow the forecast track, kind of taking it right back to almost where it was, heading up to about Springfield, Missouri there. So we are going to see uh, the system kind of moving on in, but uh, is it weird to see a storm coming from a non-tropical system into the tropics? Well, no, we do see that from time to time. We have these fronts or troughs of low pressure, and these troughs are kind of act like a front. This time of year, we don't get many fronts because it's summertime. You don't have a big spread in temperatures from south to north like you do in the winter, but the tail end of them, sometimes a piece can break off from that, kind of drift its way down the Gulf or any part of the East Coast for that matter, and that sometimes can become an area of low pressure and become a tropical system. And guess what? That's what this one did. Uh, so it's again kind of a crazy track it's taken there as it's worked its way all the way to where it's currently located and eventually will eventually go continue on to St. Louis and beyond. So kind of doing a little loop to loop, if you will, out there. But obviously bringing us some headaches here with a lot of that heavy rain expected to continue across our area today and moving forward. There's the heavy rain falling downtown right now. Can't even see too much what's going on. For those in the North Shore may not deal with the rain. We have a lot of it starting to come down here. 78 degrees now. Wind south at 15, gusting about 26 miles per hour. South southeast at 21, gusting to 28 there over in the Slidell area. There's winds not too bad here. 15 gusting to 26, but still wind gusts to 48 there in Homa. Heading on to Lakefront Airport around 40 miles per hour there. And over to Boothville right around 39 miles per hour. So we do have some tropical storm force winds out there. Radar depiction, you can see how much rain is off the coastline. And as the system continues its way up here into parts of the Cadiana area, we'll continue seeing all of this working its way northward here. Some of it now, some of it spreading to the North Shore. Heavy rain band persistent from Mobile back out of parts of the Mississippi Gulf Coast area. There is Mobile again, some heavy rain continuing on really the western shore of Mobile Bay there at this point, heading toward the Grand Bay area, Dolphin Island, uh, Pascagoula area, Biloxi, uh, over toward Gulfport. Seeing some pretty good rain. Not a lot yet in base St. Louis, but you can see it is heading up your way. Stretching back to the North Shore, pretty good rain coming down. Heavy rain, Mandeville, uh, Lacombe area, heading to Covington, Abita Springs. This point, Madisonville, Folsom area, up Highway 25 there, all the way to Franklinton. You'll get some of this heavy rain. It's moving fairly quickly, but that's not really what concerned with. The motion of rain is not the big issue today. It's the direction and how long it's going to persist with these rain bands. That can be some of our problems we're seeing out there. Remember, for all these rivers here, you need a a lot of rain not to fall on the actual river because then it just drains south. You need it up in the upper watershed of the river. So across Washington Parish, across part of Pike County and Walthall County, Mississippi, up toward Columbia, Mississippi as well, too. And those areas, they will get some heavy rain. That all drains into the river basin, and then they come down on top of the wet soil we have here, and all these other little streams and creeks and ditches drain into the rivers, and that's what we're going to see first. Then as the rivers try to drain into Lake Pontchartrain or Lake Marpa, they're not going to be able to because the water levels are so high and that is causing those river levels to stay high and likely crest as we get into Monday, Tuesday time frame of next week. So right now we're starting to see some of the heavy rain, but we'll see more persistent rain coming on in. There are the showers coming in through town, not necessarily heavy at the moment, a little bit heavier as you get over toward Violet area and heading back to the north there as well. And you can see a little break looks like we'll get here, but there's the heavy rain moving into Homa now back to Morgan City, a steadier rain with the windy conditions continuing across those areas. Guys.